Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Pop Projects, where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Elixir platform, because it's just a great place for anybody getting into Web3 to be able to access games without worrying about, you know, downloading any viruses. Uh, so we're going to be looking at some of the top performing games on there in comparison to where games are at in the Web2 space. And we're also going to be taking a look at a couple of updates on other games that we've looked at in the past. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so... Elix platform, like I say, great place to go and download. It's basically like the epic store of um, of the Web3 space. And in fact, you can actually play Web3, Web2 games through the app. So you can actually connect your Epic Games account. And from that, play games direct from there. Just sign in. And there we see, recently played, got Fortnite, Fall Guys, Valorant on there. So it's a great place to be able to access those games as well. So this is what the platform looks like. You can sign in if you want. You can just sign in via your Google Mail account, nice and easy. And once in there, you'll be able to play some of the games that are available on there. It also gives you insight into some of the upcoming games as well. It also gives you sneak peeks of some of the games coming up to the store. And it also gives you some uh, idea of when things are in beta and not. What's cool, it keeps you up to date with any events. So we can see some of the tournaments that are going on. We've got some happening this month. We've got Mokens Lee, April the 11th, Dribble Dribble. Uh, Solarion Alpha release comes on 15th of April. And we've got many more things going on as well. Right, so top performing games on there. If we compare this to Web 2, I don't think it's where it needs to be. So the number one game played on Elixir platform is Cyber Titans. This is very similar to Alluvium. It's just not as high quality in graphics, I would say. So here we have your units, and these are placed on a board that will then act as in an auto battler, battling against whatever you're up against. So very, it's still in the auto battler days, and but does have a little bit more of a step up in complexity, you know, understanding people's weaknesses, people's strengths, being able to place them in the right position. Um, so it's a bit different to, you know, your three on three auto battlers where we were going like a year back. Now we've progressed to something a little bit more complex with things like this, features like this, which just add a little bit more to it. And you can battle it against your friends or enemies on here as well. And once you defeated somebody, you can see it does damage to their base. So functioning wise, it's a really good looking game uh, and it works nicely. It's got different game modes and, you know, I imagine there's future updates and it's progressed really nicely to be able to get the game out to a point where it's free and ready for people to play. Then we go to second best. Second is Kiraverse. Now this is a little bit more um, complex in terms of what features that has in it. It is a, a compete and earn game or an MMO that brings to life your NFTs in the game where you can battle, discover and earn with others. So we see here some of the pictures of the graphics wise look really good. It looks proper clean. And from here, I don't think the graphics look that great. These are probably some of the NFTs that are integrated into the game. Uh, but when you see here, like, the quality looks really really good we've got typical features with any multiplayer um, and there is a co-op multiplayer online and a multiplayer online 18 plus ends on the ethereum blockchain through immutable x so purchase of nfts is going to have no gas fees once you've got your ethereum uploaded to there and all the reviews of it look really really good people are really liking the game itself and it's probably one of the few games that is really truly integrated cross IP. So we've got Board Ape Yacht Club being able to be added to the game, we've got Doodles. So some big NFT collections there being able to be uh, used in game. And again, it is ready for you to be able to play. You just click play now and then you'll be able to enjoy it. Then we go to third place. Elemental Raider is your typical 3v3 that you see in the NFT gaming space with just a little bit more complexity. It's fast paced and the fact that you've got cards that you can select and use based on the energy that you have um, adds a little bit more complexity to it. I'd say in terms of gameplay, it's more similar to like Draco Master uh, or Dracu Master and you know some of the different cards that you can get, different abilities will determine 
how well you battle against the people in front of you. So I think this is a more upgraded version of where things have been in the NFT game space, but I'm not sure it has the complexity it needs to be able to, you know, really attract loads of people to a game that in comparison to the Web2 space, people have already played these types of games. Um, but like I say, it's a much more advanced version of our 3v3 games and that it has different modes like arena battles, PvE raids, play and earn, skills, heroes, plenty to it. And again, this is something that you can play now. Next up, we have Kronos. We've taken a look at this before as well. This is um, an action RPG casual. And I love the look of this. I love the styling of it. It's just kind of got its quirkiness to it. And it's got two game modes. So you've got the building of your empire. This is the classic kind of thing you'd see in mobile games. These were very popular in building a base and progressively making it bigger and bigger and bigger. But then in this, we also have a platformer. Um, here we can see Kagi and Bryson playing it. And it's... It looks like it functions really well as a platformer, you know, looking at the moves, different abilities that you get, different weapons that you get, adds a little difference to it, style of gameplay. Here we see a kind of Smash Bros style fighting multiplayer, which I think is a great addition to have to it. And this is probably one of my favorite looking games in terms of just style and gameplay that it has to it. I think it does something different compared to a lot of games in the NFT gaming space. Um, that beta was released in December 2022, but you can now play this. You know, we do have reviews of the game, which look like it's been doing well, people are enjoying it, and it does have upgradable NFTs in the game as well. And everything is run through the Polygon blockchain, so really easy to use. Um, if you're familiar, you can add it to your MetaMask, and it uses Matic as its currency for gas and transactions are usually pretty dumb cheap and pretty speedy so it's a good network to be on and as you see there there is a tournament that has been on in March the 26th no mercy chronos and I'm sure they'll have plenty more in the future and then in fifth place we have the rainy the lords of light or Rani the lords of light um, this is a competitive trading card game which will put your skills to the test against other players in a battle for strategic superiority. And this has a multiplayer online. It will have a co-op multiplayer online as well. And here we can see some little sneak peeks of what you can expect the game to look like. So it's your classic card game. Now, in terms of progression of you know content and quality, we see this being up there in terms of what you would see in web 2 card based games i think the card designs look great what it lacks i think is just you know being anything different card based games have there's been a lot of these released in the nft gaming space so we have gods unchained we have um the theory that was released and many many more the the design in terms of graphics as it's you know, making the card actions, the attacks, and how they actually show the animations, I think is what makes this a little bit more advanced than some of those games. Um, it really stands out. It's got different spells, you've got different rarity of cards, and ultimately you're trying to destroy the opponent's main base character there. And so we see them doing damage, getting down to 330. But you're gonna have to destroy those in front of you, the cards in front of you, um, to be able to get any shots on them. So in quality, I think it looks really, really good, but I just think this is a very niche game in terms of for people who like card-based games, and it doesn't offer anything new, anything different that will attract Web 2 players to the Web 3 gaming space. But yeah, it looks really fun in terms of content. I'm sure it'll do pretty well. Next at number six, we have Tolan Worlds Pre-Alpha. This is a pixel MMO RPG adventure game. So very easy to design pixel games. I think that means that you can really concentrate on content. And this looks like it has good content. The, the battling looks really good. I like the fact that you're dealing with enemies where you're having to dodge some of their different abilities. And if we take a sneak peek at some of the artwork design, it's quite 
high quality pixel game you know it's not it's not really really simple this is what kind of what you'd expect on your you know the days when we were playing nintendo 3ds zelda it's very up there in terms of quality and these games are simple but they focus on quality content and this is available now in pre-alpha for you to be able to play this is again on ethereum blockchain through a mutable x and it's definitely worth checking out in the game you'll be able to fight build unite and explore the worlds of tolan together so it's going to have a multiplayer online and a co-op multiplayer online which i think will just make this stand out above games like zelda if they get the same level of quality because having a co-op feature having a multiplayer element to it i think would be really exciting and based on you know what we see there in terms of com combat i think having a multiplayer like this with different different things that you've got to dodge like these arrows you have to factor in when you're battling against the enemies i think things like that and i think hopefully they've got more stuff like that to it that make the 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 strategy of the game really be about being you know moving being agile reacting to some of the things that you're facing um yeah tolan worlds number six is looking really good check that out and play that now on elixir as well at number seven we have Something that we have not played before. I don't know if we featured this. A Light Knight. And this is looking very similar to like the original design of Mist, if you ever ever were involved with that. Um, but this is trying to build a like Fortnite style game. So we are gonna have a uh, first person shooter MMO and it does allow the integration of NFTs. We can see it's on the Solana blockchain. And they have a, a wicked trailer, but I just feel like this type of artwork is not its not a good, very good quality. Like, they've, they've designed characters to look human to, this, like, using as little as, as possible detail on them. That's what I always get from this artwork. Um, and the final result is is this this is what we see in game using so that's the fortnite font um so yeah very similar to fortnite in terms of style and layout and it, it just the when you compare it to games like fortnite it ends up being way less and that's not going to attract people into the web 3 gaming space content will probably be really good but I don't know if it will be it'll be up to the same standard in terms of, you know, just getting that feeling of accuracy when you're aiming down sights and shooting at somebody. The the you know, the design of the the landscape is similar in terms of 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 the characters and that it's very you know, we see this kind of not much individual detail it's very just like big shapes and then at another angle another big shape to make the the perception of it being a, a rock but it's yeah it's just doesn't have that real crisp individual detail that smooths things out so in itself i'd say this looks like a game that has cross ips it does have tournaments in it and does have the token x knight but I just don't think it's strong enough to be able to attract new people to the NFT gaming space. And with some of the FPS games that we have coming out, like Shrapnel, it's just going to fall by the wayside because the quality is just not going to be up there. At number eight, we have World Eternal Online. This is a sandbox MMORPG with raid bosses, PvP dungeons, territory, and much more. And you can sign up for closed alpha access below. So this is on the Ethereum blockchain. Why do people keep releasing things on the Ethereum blockchain? Personally, I'll never know. I just feel like it's so expensive that it's just not really viable to have NFTs in them. Um, okay, so we've got a nice little introduction. The trailer looks really, really good. But this is a, a huge feature within NFT games is the trailers look brilliant. But then the game quality isn't anywhere near that. And we get that in Web 2 anyway. Oh yeah, but this is great. Facing a dragon. Okay, so this is what you can expect in terms of quality though. The design is like this. So obviously, significantly different. <laughs> um, but still good. 
still up to a fair standard. And wow, so here we see like people get taking part in a, a dungeon, de defeating a boss. Uh, so very, very functional mass multiplayer online there, you can see. And I think the game looks really good. Very similar to what you'd expect on mobile MMORPGs, I think, in terms of design and quality and probably gameplay. This is in closed alpha, so you can join the Discord, which is a good way to get involved with the community. So this will have the ability to slay epic raid box bosses and earn the most prized loot. You've got explore loot filled dungeons. You've got siege PVP fortresses that you've got to take down. So these will be guild v guild battles. Um, become a champion in many PVP tournaments to become the strongest. So this is probably going to have a lot of grind elements to it. So if you've got a lot of time to put into a game and want to get the, the rewards of it, you know, down the line, you'll be very early into the game. Whether there'll be a uh, reset though for beta, typically there usually is. So factor that in. But looks like it's it's nice that the, we're getting something different in the top ten there. An MMO RPG. Um, above any turn-based combat. Then at number nine, we have Revenge. This is a triple A Web3 first-person shooter, fully built on the Polygon blockchain. This game will have the opportunity to explore multiple game modes, including zombies, team deathmatch, battle royale, each with their own unique challenges and gameplay me mechanics. What sets it apart from other shooters is the fact that you, all assets you get within game are fully owned by the player themselves. This means you will have the freedom to buy, sell and trade any of your assets, giving you complete control over your game experience. So you can grab your gear, grab your weapons and get ready to smash. Whether you prefer to take on zombie hordes, engage in fast team battles or fight for survival in a battle royale game, Revenge is going to have something for everyone. I think this one looks so good. It is on the Polygon blockchain, which... Is Thank you. Not going on Ethereum, which means these NFT assets are going to be very easily traded and you know bought and sold uh, between players without huge gas fees. The design is in keeping with a triple A quality game. I think the graphics are look amazing, and you know we can see the production of Zion got from killing enemies. Here we're going in with a shotgun. The just the action of when you shoot an enemy and the blood spills out. Looks really, really good, really crisp. And we can see it in Zion tokens there. This one looks strong. I really like the look of it. Different game modes. You can click on play now, check this out. Release date was April the 3rd, so this is a new one to play. Um, definitely think this is one to watch i definitely think this is gonna go up from nine in the next few weeks uh being of the quality that it's at if you compare that to light night it's just insanely bad in terms of quality which makes it harder to produce content because unless you've got a bigger team than light night it's going to take a lot longer to design every little aspect of it and then at number 10 we have mokens league a real-time multiplayer eSport blockchain technology game um, which uses NFTs and it's free to play and offers a play to own experience. So this is exactly what you'd expect in terms of a soccer game from in between, you know, going way, way back. I don't know if anybody knows Dino Dini Soccer on um, Sega Mega Drive. like. It's beyond that because it's 3D, not 2D. But it's definitely no FIFA, is it? It's somewhere in between, more on the low spec side. But here's the thing with football games. I don't think it necessarily matters in terms of graphics. Like, it's all about gameplay. And as long as, like, the connects are good in terms of passing, the movement's good, scoring goals is satisfying. And it makes such a good multiplayer because you've just got this constant, like, you know, back and forth, trying to score goals. But it does have a huge element of strategy to it in terms of knowing when to pass at the right time. So I can see why this is, is top 10. And the fact that they're running tournaments on this, I think is really, really good. So you can actually join the beta 
to be able to get involved with this. Coming in Q2 of 2023, so we're now in Q2, Q2. So I don't think we'll be waiting long for this to come. And it offers a variety of different game modes. We've got free to play training grounds, arena mode, high stakes. Uh, we've got league, leagues and tournaments and club manager mode as well. So it's trying to bring all the aspects you'd expect from any football game. And it's called Mokens League. They haven't named it soccer, which would annoy me. Because it's football, guys. It's football. So they're the top 10 games that you can play on Elixir. Let me know what you think of those and which one you think is most appealing, looks most interesting to play. I'd say if I was going to lay down like top three, I would say Revenge looks top one for me because just in quality. Then I would say, I'd probably say Kronos. I think that looks great. Um, and adds a, just a little something different with it being a platformer. And then for me, it would be between Moken's League. I like to Tolan World. I'd probably say Tolan World. I do love a pixel styled game. And I think where it is now and where it could be in, you know, going down the line, like in six months time, this could be very far along and be a very, very well-rounded game. So yeah, they're my favorites. Let me know your top three down in the description below. So just some updates on some other games that we've we've looked at. Champions Ascension is making really good progress with their game. We can see now we've got 3v3 battles going on and it's still pre-alpha, though we're still not in the final phase. But this has a lot of strategy to it as a team-based game because there's movement, there's actual battling and dodging and parrying, everything that you want to it to ensure that you are getting involved in something that isn't just auto battler. Turn based combat adds a little more. You knock down there. So you're kind of working together. To, ideally, you want two people hammering this one guy, taking him down, and this one maybe distracting the other two. You're going to get her there. But there we go. So they've actually knocked. One of the enemies down, so it now becomes 3v2. And a comeback from, at this point is going to be now an impossible. I like this finish as well, though. So he skips over here and he, he's waiting to get that. And then the guy pulls some ability to be able to teleport to him. And then he gets smashed by the, uh, the spikes. So. Looking really, really good. So what we have is coming up, we've got pre-alpha gameplay schedule listed here. But Thursday, sneak peek session. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, where you can actually get involved in the 1v1s and 3v3s. So if you are playing that game, hold NFTs, definitely worth getting involved in that. Um, they do a lot of giveaways in terms of, they have tickets for some of the, the mini games that they have. Uh, definitely worth checking out. And this is a favorite for me personally than gets into the game because I just really rate Jam City very, very highly. It's been a game that uh, developer studio that can create quality content. So excited for the full release of this game. And mentioned in Draku World a while ago, um, this is a game mode that I thought looks cool because I'm currently playing a game called Vampire Survivor, I think, on Steam. And they're looking to build, continue to build on their game. So they've got this. PvP and PvE available, um, but they're also looking to add a new gameplay mode, and this will be very much the style of Vampire Survivor, in that you're beating enemies and you're getting power-ups. So these energy crystals allow you to choose an ability that you can add, increasing your damage. And you know, trying to take out as many enemies as you possibly can. The problem is though, when you compare it to Web 2, this is Vampire Survivor, it's nowhere near as high quality. You know, the enemies that they've got on the screen are nowhere near amount, the power-ups aren't as good. So I don't think it's gonna have longevity in it unless they work to build something like this which this game is fun has huge amount of replayability to it um 
trying to fully complete it and look everything is fun so yeah i just don't think it has the quality that it needs to do very well wow somebody's unlocked everything so yeah that is draku world though you can check it out they the the there is this is a kind of good comparison of some of the 3v3 style combat we've looked at in some of the, the um some of the content we looked at today because they created a very good functional pokemon style 3v3 turn-based battler i don't think it's gonna do you know make huge waves in web 3 but it's always nice to see projects continuing to to create new ideas to create new content for people to be able to get use out of their nfts so i'm all for it but i think it's got a long way to come before it's challenging any web 2 games hopefully you've enjoyed today's hot projects plenty of games to look at and definitely recommend going to the elixir platform to go check out what they are producing and some of the games that are listed on there safest place for you to be able to download anything if anybody asks you to download a game verify it first do your research check their twitter see if anybody's following them that you know um maybe more than one person check the comments see if there's any scams uh, scam comments um if something looks fishy avoid it it's not worth downloading anything that's bad for your computer elixir just takes that risk out of the framework you know they verified everything so the content you're downloading is not going to have any um any viruses or anything like that okay so we'll leave it there for today's episode hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have please leave a like on the video it always helps the channel out hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that is all for me see you guys soon